three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw pulled in by Robinson here. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and three at the 36-yard line. Now Lawrence to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Woods. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And complete right side to Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 80 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Lawrence. Turned the pylon cut. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession. As they go to work on a first and goal. Now Lawrence. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Cook is going backwards here. All the way back to the five-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. Touchdown! Allen Robinson on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cavs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start with that secondary. Well, let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they will continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. And the previous drive put him up over 1,000 yards for the season. So now it's what you like to refer to, my friend, as gravy time, right? It is. I mean, he's done it, right? He's accomplished the goal. So the good players, they relax a little. They bask in it. They think this is okay. We've done what we set out to do. The great players decide to push that number as high as they possibly can. I don't expect him to have any let up in his game the rest of the way. Great thing if you're on the opposite side. He's such a weapon. He just opens things up for the other guys around him. Yeah, if you're the opposite receiver, you should expect a few passes come your way too because I've got to kick coverage in his direction. Locates Mooney on the out route. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now with Purdy. 
Throw left side complete. That's Hill. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. Out of the gun, Purdy. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Purdy will look to throw again here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And now for him on the season, that is his 80th catch, and the result is a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Purdy looking to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. They'll try and run for it with Hill. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one. But this D was up to the challenge and stopped them. Bring it up fourth down. They bring their punter out there now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on her. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. James Cook running back out now. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And we have an injury on the play, and it uh, looks like the running back, James Cook, is the one who's down from the 38 now. Here's second and six. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They go play action now. Lawrence, this one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. The quick slant caught. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Fourth down. Here's Lawrence. And it's caught. Touchdown. Robert Woods. A one-yard touchdown was 
interception. And the Cavs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They start the drive on the ground with Hill. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The throwing here, Purdy. Here's Fryer Muth again. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Back to throw, Purdy. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Akeem Hicks make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, last game he had two sacks, got another one here, picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves, certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. There's Moody with another catch. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way. and They could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt. And their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. He's the star wide receiver and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things. But the best players show up each and every week. Solid games and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. Here's second and seven. Now Lawrence. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. 
A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Harris going to get it again on second down. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third and two, now Lawrence. Robinson's got it. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now second and three. Now Purdy. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Play action. Now Purdy. Out loud, and he connects with Firemuth. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So three points on the board is easy a field goal that you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon. Th past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. 
And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Purdy now on second down. Open man, that's Westbrook downfield. Down to the 10. Touchdown! D.D. Westbrook, 73 yards. And the Mounties come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so <laughs> we don't jerseys. have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the give, this is Harris. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now Lawrence to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They go play action with Lawrence. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a game of 35. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball. That cut down the lead. Now the defense does their part, got them the football back. So now maybe with the touchdown they scored previously, plus their defense making that stand up and getting the ball right back, momentum may be shifting in their favor. Second down and eight. Again, it's Hill. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. And the San Diego first down. Purdy now to throw. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A second down throw for Purdy. That is caught. Westbrook's got it. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. On first down, Purdy. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Purdy will look to throw again here. Under pressure and down he goes. Harold Landry able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And on now is the punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. He's been almost impossible to bottle up. You see that number 10 on your screen, a big reason why they have the lead. One of the guys is being featured in this game and making sure that he's targeted because they do trust him with the ball. That's why they go back to him time and time again. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now it's second and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Brings up third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now Lawrence on first down and quickly into the hands of Robinson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. Here's Lawrence. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards for number 11. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Lawrence to throw. Well, get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A throw out wide to Woods complete. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Lawrence now off the bootleg. That pass complete to Moore. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately, 
They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. This is an easy one, 23 yarder. And his kick is indeed good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But he did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On second down, Hill. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. Purdy with it on third and long. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Taken from just outside the 30. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. From the 43, here's second and six. And Lawrence will throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Woods. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Now Lawrence. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 42-yard line. Now Lawrence. throw is going to be incomplete. But it certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage and it led to an incompletion. On third down, Lawrence. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fourth down that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. And right now, Charles, you know, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet. 
but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. At the 18-yard line. Out of the gun, Purdy. A throw left side, caught by the tight end, Fryermuth. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Purdy from the gun. And a little floater there is incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and 10. He was defended by Christian Gonzalez. Throwing here, Purdy. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now in Austin. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. So far he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll, we'll throw your mic out positive. there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and 11. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. It's a big play there on third down. And even 50 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. 
And here they're burned again. Another big play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Play action. It's Lawrence. He finds Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Two yards on the pickup there, and it brings up third and five now. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They go play action with Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Touchdown! Allen Robinson, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Caps are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Purdy to throw it on first down. A dump off now to Hill. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. First down, San Diego. On first down, it's Purdy. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. It's second down and 10. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll run it out of the gun with Hill. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Purdy, big fourth down play. He's got his target, that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Uh, no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Mike Tomlin has reached for that red challenge flag, and he'll throw it out there. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On first down, Purdy. That's out to Hill, right side complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. 
A gain of five brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. They go play action here, Purdy. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Purdy will look to throw again here. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Fourth down try, here's Purdy. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Now Lawrence to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Harris. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So they bring out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. offense back out and set to go for their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Buying time to his left. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. And the San Diego first down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This second and four. At the 46-yard line. Back to throw, Purdy. And this is caught at the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 36 yards on the play. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Out of the gun, Purdy. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. At the 12-yard line. Purdy looking to throw. And a 
gets caught. Touchdown. Jarnell Newman. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Mounties have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though we're supposed to be neutral, because this doesn't just happen by accident. This isn't four times where the defense just falls down or breaks. There he goes, left side. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and nine. At the 42-yard line. Now Lawrence. The left side completion to Jones. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. On third and one, it's Lawrence, and he's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now left side on the swing pass. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. Seems like the measuring stick for receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on him, and he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Lawrence will throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Now a give, running left is Harris. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Lawrence. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And now following the completion, we're gonna get a stoppage here for an injury. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Hey, let's go. Now third down and seven. Now Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. This is Harris. Able to power through. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. They run again with Harris. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A second and 11 from the 19. They'll run with Harris. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. But taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? They just hold on, as you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Austin, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-4. and four, And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. and eight, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.